MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the Cleveland Indians and the Los Angeles Dodgers. Now at the plate, Jose Ramirez. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Now here's a check swing, and they appeal down to first. No swing. So that's ball four. Stepping into the box, Cesar Hernandez. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Hernandez. Throw over to the bag, and he'll get back in standing. Ramirez on at first, nobody out. And another throw over, keeping particularly close tabs on him. On that fastball is too much for him there. One and two. Kershaw racked up over 2,300 innings of work on major league mounds with an ERA just under two and a half. That's allowing just over two runs per nine innings of work. Fouled off. Count still at one and two. Nobody out, runner on first. And he gets under this one as the ball is skied into very shallow right. Bellinger has the best view of this one, so he'll take it for the first down. And that'll bring in the switch hitting Francisco Lindor. He had a couple of hits in yesterday's contest. Here's the 1 1. A pitch out. The throw. And that'll be in plenty of time and a perfect call on the pitch out there. Now the 2-1 pitch. Skied into straightaway right. Bellinger is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Now to the plate, Justin Turner. It'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Hard hit ball to second. And this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. Into the box, Corey Seager in the air out to left. Luplo will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. So one got in the inning here with the runner at first. And that'll bring up Mookie Betts. The 1-1 home. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two now. From the belt, kicks and deals. Runner at first here, one man out. Just a bit low, a tough call, but it's two and two. Now this guy's a grinder, fouls off good pitches, and doesn't seem to swing at the ones just off the corner. This guy's a pitcher's nightmare. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. We could see the runner in motion here on a three-two count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. Saws him off here as this ball's popped into the air. A 
another full count pitch home. Uh, he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. So the runner at first here with two gone in the inning and that brings in the former National League Rookie of the Year Cody Bellinger on the ground for Hernandez at second base. He's got it throw in time and the side is retired. Digging in now Fran Reyes. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Line to the right side. Bellinger is there to put it away for route number one. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring in one of the best on base percentage players in the game Carlos Santana. One and two now as that one's fouled off. No score here as we play inning number two. Hit back up the middle. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to first will take care of him and Kershaw is in control now. Two away. Standing in Oscar Mercado. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Mercado. Now the three and two pitch. Popped him up. McKinstry over to his left. Makes the catch and that'll retire the side. And that'll bring up the versatile Max Muncy. He's two for seven in the series so far. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. At the ball. They haven't played perfectly as it's hit on the ground. And there's one away. So next to bat will be the left handed hitting Jock Peterson. He was one for four with a two bagger in yesterday's game. Here it comes on one and one. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. Grounded down the third baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. Line toward the alley in left center. Luplo will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. Now at the plate, Will Smith. In eight at bats in the series, he's collected three hits. And a changeup couldn't get him to bite, and it's ball four. So stepping in, Zach McKinstry. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. And it's fouled away. Hard hit ball to short. Scooped up. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. So coming to the plate, Jordan Luplo. Four hits already in the series through seven at-bats. Right. Now an off-speed pitch gets the outside. It's a cold strike. Fooled pretty badly there as he reaches to poke this one foul. To two balls and two strikes now. Drives it out to deep right center field. On the move is Peterson. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Settling in now, Roberto Perez. Hitless in four tries in the ball game yesterday. The 2 1 home. 3 1. And this misses for ball four. 
The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. So striding in, Aaron Savali. One and one, here it is. And they'll try to stay out of the double play here as he lays this one down. To second for one, relay throw, but it'll be too late as he's well safe at first. Into the box now, Jose Ramirez. He's hitless in the first two games of the series, 0 for 8. The one two swung on in the dirt strike three and that ends the inning. So digging in now Clayton Kershaw as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. One and two. Here it comes. And he struck him out. Digging in for his second at bat. Justin Turner. Second at bat here. He reached via a single to lead off the home first. Not an easy thing to do when you're in a leadoff spot, but that was a good piece of hitting in his first at bat. An opposite field base hit, which leads me to believe that this guy's going to cover both sides of the plate. Turner in front at three balls and a strike. Corey Seager is on deck. And he misses ball four. Digging in to try it again. Corey Seager fly down in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Still 2 and 2. Working for the punch out and the offering. Line toward right center, and that'll split the gap as it should be extra bases. And this one will bounce into the wall. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. Now that no Into the box now, Mookie Betts. Two and one now to Mookie. Two and one to count. Ah. Strike two called, and it's even at two. Hard hit ball to second. Beautiful diving stop. He is out. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Cody Bellinger. He'll try to bring in that second run of the inning from third with two down. Ready with the 2 1. Now a swing and a miss at the hard sinker, and they're back to even 2 and 2. Hey, this pitch better be careful right here. A man at the plate is not trying to push something to the opposite field. Oh. Full count to Bellinger. Three balls, two strikes. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of... And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. All set for the start of the inning. Striding in for the Indians, Cesar Hernandez. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. This one's down to third. Gloved by Turner. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. And that'll bring in the switch hitting Francisco Lindor. Francisco Lindor. Now the 2 1 pitch. It's a fastball that misses. Well, it's a pretty well-known fact that your batting average goes up as you get into more favorable hitters counts, and that's especially true when we're talking about this kind of hitter. Not a great spot to be in if you're the pitcher. And he'll take it to the bag now himself for the out. Kershaw now on one and one. Out in front there as this one's pulled off to the left side. 
And he comes back with a fastball. Strike three called, and the inning is over. Coming to the plate now, Max Muncy. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, Matty, and it looked like a sinker in his last A.B. that got him to roll over. Kind of similar situation right here. Similar stuff on the mound. Look for them to try and get him to do exactly the same thing as his last okay. A.B. He's got to fight to get it elevated just a little bit more. And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. Now Here's Jock Peterson now. Hit it field. hard but lined out in his first at-bat. Yeah, Matty, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. And another foul ball. Another one sent foul. Here he comes again, one, two. One run, two hits. No errors for the Dodgers thus far. Neither guy giving in here, and they'll do it again. Another one, two delivery. And he'll finally just wear him down as this one swung on and missed for the first now out. Hector. Striding into the box, Will Smith. He drew a walk his first time up. Now a throw over, and he just manages to get his hand in. One run, two hits. No errors for the Dodgers thus far. Swing and a miss on the sinker, and it's one and two. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. Uh, had him fooled as he swings through the curveball. Two down. Now back. Ready game. now, Zach McKinstry. He's 0 for 1 thus far. 1-1. A runner on first with two away. Swing and a high chopper. Flips it behind his back. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. At the plate, Carlos Santana. He'll start off the fifth in this one. We're moving through the middle of this ball game right now. They want to get things going. How about trying to get some base runners on, or at least get a base hit? They don't have any hits going into this part of the game. Muncy is over, and he puts it away for the first down. At the plate, Oscar Mercado comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Into the windup, here's the 2 and 1 pitch. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. And he fouls this one off. Indians still in search of their first hit of the ball game. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. And no one will track it down. Fouled away. And he finally wins the battle as this is swung on and missed for the second out. Now, bat now batting, Let's Jordan Luplo. Jordan Luplo. And he'll take a look at a strike on the inside corner. It's one and two. There's a well-hit ball out to right center field. Around first, he's digging for second. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. The catcher, number 55, Roberto Toro. To the plate now, Roberto Perez. Ball. Three and one. Three balls, one strike. Yeah. 
And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with two out. So stepping in, Aaron Savali, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Ready with the 2-1. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. The three and one pitch fouled off. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Betts has a read on it. He's got it to end the inning as they'll strand the tying run in scoring position. So here now is the pitcher, Clayton Kershaw, as we move past the halfway point in this one and begin the bottom of the fifth. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. To two balls and two strikes now. Certainly, no, he's not trying to work around the pitcher. But sometimes the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. And a sinker dips too low there, into the dirt, in fact. What a great battle to start this inning. What a great job by the leadoff hitter. He knows that this pitcher's starting to get up there in pitches. The manager's starting to get restless. Let's now see if we can knock him out and get him to that bullpen. So he sets him down swinging. Clayton Kershaw is retired for the first out in the bottom half of the fifth. And a cut fastball, but this bounces near the plate for a ball. Count remains two and two. One out, nobody on. Grounded to third. Ramirez is there. In time to first, and there are two away. Here's Corey no Seager, a hit in two at bats Good for him job. at this point in the ballgame. Bases are empty here Seager. with two men out. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Long run for the center fielder. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. So the lineup flips over and digging in Jose Ramirez. He'll be the one to start things here against Clayton Kershaw. All even now two and two. And Kershaw can't find the target there as he's run it as far as it can go now. It's three and two. Great A.B. up until this point. A walk right here could really just infuse some confidence into this lineup. Inside as he nearly got him, and it's ball four. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. Bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. Throw goes to first here, so it works just as they drew it up, and now the possible tying run is in scoring position at second. So here's Francisco Lindor now. Matty, he checks every box. Charisma, smile, hits from both sides of the plate with pop, defense, you name it. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but it gets by the glove down the line. And not in time as he just crosses the plate in time. Now batting, right fielder, Carmelo Reyes. In now, friend Reyes. Now Reyes with a drive, well hit out to deep left field. And goodbye, this one ain't coming back. Standing in now, Carlos Santana. A ball and two strikes now. Hey, I don't mind that take right there. That was a nasty breaking ball. 
started outside the zone, pop back inside the zone, good spin rate on it, move on to the next pitch. Three runs already home here. And that misses two and two. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. Having a hard time putting this hitter away here. And when I was looking at the tape on him from his last start, this is what I saw a lot of. He's not closing the door on guys. And, and when that's the case, they eventually get a pitch that they can do something with. Rip down the first base line. And a reach, but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. And he'll reach second now with one away. Blake Trinan, the 6 5 right hander, takes over on the mound. Mercado. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. Now pitching for the Dodgers, number 49. So now to the plate, Oscar Mercado. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. This one's blooped out toward right center field. And that's going to fall for a base hit. And the runner from second will stay put at third. So they're runners at the corners now with one away. Now batting the left fielder, Jordan Luplo. At the plate now, Jordan Luplo. One and two now as this catches the outer half. Big pitch coming up right here. He'd love for a ground ball or a strikeout. He got him, and it'll probably take a base hit now to get that runner across from third. Now batter. Stepping into the box, Roberto Perez. It was a walk in his last trip. The 1-1 one -one home. Runners on first and third, two away. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Got to think it's going to be a fastball here on three and one. He definitely doesn't want to walk the bases loaded. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Now the three and two pitch. And he takes ball four again. And they clearly just don't want any part of him in this one. The pitcher, number Into the box now, the Indians pitcher, Aaron Savali. And a chance now to increase his lead if he can deliver something here with two gone. The set and the 1-1. One -one. Oh, straightened him up there on that fastball. It's one and two now. Hey, I know it's the pitcher at the plate, but he's going to grind it out right here. He's got a chance to help himself. And nothing's a bigger backbreaker to a team. And watching the pitcher drive in the And that will get down as he delivers a big one here. It's a base hit. And the second run is in. It's now a 5 1 game. Now that the third base hit. Jose Ramirez. Into the box now. Jose Ramirez. And it's fouled away. Now a shot to center field. Back goes the center fielder, but this ball has plenty behind it, and it's a home run. Jimmy Nelson gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Stepping in now, Cesar Hernandez. In the dirt, but swung on and missed. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. Here's Mookie Betts. 0 for 2 with a run batted in for him thus far. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time to get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the 8th and ninth inning. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Luplo is there and he has it for the out. Cody Bellinger at the plate now. No hits for him to this point, not unlike many of his fellow teammates. 
the 2 1 home. Will not catch nope. the zone. Ball three. Bases are empty. One man out. No offer at that one. It's a cold strike. And through five and a third, already coming up on 100 pitches here. Yeah, Matty V, this pitch count continues to go up, 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 near 100 pitches here. He's not even through the sixth inning. And Mark DeRosa, this is right where you'd like to have a pitcher like this guy. Yeah, absolutely. A lot of stress pitches for him, you know. Usually you can throw 100 pitches, and if you're not taxed and there's not people in runners in scoring position, you could be all right. But he's he's had to grind this one. Oh, Adam off. Fletko, a right-handed reliever, pitch. standing 6-3, gets the ball now out of the bullpen. In now, Max Muncy, and he fouls this one off. A swing and a ground ball to third. Throw on to first, two gone. So two gone now for the Dodgers in the sixth. And in steps a former World Series hero, the outfielder Jock Peterson. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. And it's two balls and two strikes now. One of the best ways to keep a guy uncomfortable is to pound him inside. They're doing that, and this one caught the zone. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. That one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. Some pitchers fall into the trap of giving in on three and two because they don't want to walk the guy. But with the base open, it's not the end of the world if you do. You still need to make a quality pitch. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with two out. Stepping in, Will Smith. He went down on strikes last time up. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Still one and two. Two and two to the Dodgers catcher. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Digging in and looking for more, Francisco Lindor. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Now the 2-1 pitch. Into right field, that's a base hit. Legs churning, he's headed for second. And the tribe will get a man to second base on the leadoff double. Standing in now, Fran Moraes. And that misses, so it's a full count, three and two. On deck, Carlos Santana. Now here's a check swing, and they appeal down to first. No swing, so that's ball four. So now Carlos Santana, he came across to score after doubling in his last at bat. Yeah, it's been an offensive explosion for him today. There's a fight at the bat rack. Everyone seems to be putting barrel on baseball in this lineup. He's got it. There's one over to Muncie, and they double him up. Ready for another chance? Oscar Mercado. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. Yeah, guys, everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan, you can certainly attest to this, only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. But pressure. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. It's a 9 1 ball game. The left fielder, number eight, Jordan At the plate, Jordan Luplo. In there at the letters, one and two now. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. 
2 2. Here it is. Got him swinging, and Ladies that and will end the in inning. For the traditional seventh inning Stepping in and ready for another shot, Zach McKinstry. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's 2 and 2 now. Fouled away. And a changeup swung on and missed Your for the first down. Chris Taylor will move into the on deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Hit hard towards center. That gets down and he's got himself a base hit. So a base hit from the pinch hitter will send him back to the top of the order with one away in the inning. Now batting third baseman. At the plate now, Justin Turner, a bouncer to the left side, reined in. Hernandez at second. Return throw is in time. How about that? They do turn two, and it gets him out of the inning. Kenley Jansen comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. Into the box, Roberto Perez. set and the 2-2 pitch boy good cutting action to that pitch is that's the first out of the inning into the box now number 45 and he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago now the one and one pitch skied into very shallow right Bellinger will drift over to his left a few steps as he takes it for the second out Trying to pick things up where we left okay. off. Jose Ramirez. He's working on a one for two game so far. The one one. That's the ball. And a swing and a miss there on a late breaking slider as he set down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. Here's Corey Seeger. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. This is line to left. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. Now back, left fielder, to the plate now, Mookie Betts. Here's a big swing and a miss on the fastball, two and two. That swing had one purpose, and that was to put the ball over the wall. I guess he doesn't have much to lose with his team down this many at this point in the game. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Mookie Betts becomes the first out in the bottom of the eighth inning. The 1-1 one -one is looked at for ball number two. Three and one Three now. And no strike. Max Muncy will be next. And the 3 1. Popped him up. Ramirez is under it. And that's the second out of the inning. Two away for the Dodgers here in the eighth. And that'll bring up the left handed hitter, Max Muncy. Muncy. In the dirt here, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. 
Well, this has been a good at bat. He's now worked the count full to three and two. It allows the runner on first to be on the move with two away. A swing, and this ball is blasted to right field. Nothing's going to keep this one in the ballpark. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. Into the box, Jock Peterson. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. The one and two pitch. Two and two. Looks like that bomb earlier in the inning kind of put this pitcher on the defensive. That being very aggressive right now. Fouled off. Here now the two two. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Digging in the switch hitter, Cesar Hernandez. Career matchup numbers against Kenley Jansen. He's just one for six. Two balls and a strike to Cesar Hernandez. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Three one. Three balls, one strike. And this pitch misses here. It's ball four, and they've got a leadoff base runner aboard to start the ninth. Now batter. Digging in once again, Francisco Lindor. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A.B., maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. A little early and now it's even at two and two. A runner at first with no outs here. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Bellinger looking up. Gone! In now, Fran Reyes. And he'll try to hold back on the pitch inside, but he pretty clearly broke the plane that time. It's strike two. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, d Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. One two is the cut fastball, but he holds back two and two. And it's fouled away. Now another two two looked like the cut fastball there and he got him to swing through it for the second out. So striding forward now, Oscar Mercado, a couple of singles for him in four trips for him this afternoon. 3-2 pitch. And he looks at ball four now. So he's aboard, and you always have to worry about the threat of the steal when he's on base. Jordan One one is a cutter that misses two and one. High in the air out to center field. Peterson has a read on it. And that's the third out. Standing in, Will Smith. He was sat down on strikes in his last at-bat. 
Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick nope, with you a little time. longer. Three and one to him now. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And he fouls this one off. He's ready. Now the payoff pitch. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Up next for the Dodgers. In now, the Zach McKinstry. Base. He'll look to bounce yeah. back after striking what? out his that's last great. time up. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Hops this one up, but this will land untouched. The 2-2. Two -two. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. No pitcher likes to take the count to three and two, especially when you throw a non-competitive pitch like that on two and two. That one wasn't even close. Payoff pitch one more time. This is pulled into right. Reyes is there, and folks are starting to head for the exits now. Two gone here in the ninth. Matt Beatty will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 45. Matt Beatty. Now a swing and a fly ball. And this should do it. He brings it in, and the Indians have taken the rubber match of this three-game set as this ball game is over. Well, the discussion around this game is real easy. It goes back to that big sixth inning when they put everything together. They really broke out there and just brought it home after that. 11-3, the final score in this contest. The Tribe posted 11 runs on the scoreboard when it was all said and done. Aaron Savali with his fourth win this season. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final line score for this afternoon's ball game for the victorious Cleveland Indians. 11 runs, 10 hits, no errors. They left five men on base. For the Dodgers, three runs, six hits, no errors. They left seven men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 42 minutes. Our paid attendance this afternoon, us 